All right, welcome back to Californium. I think things are only getting worse for us as we go on. Uh, we, we created machine consciousness, but, uh, you know, everyone's free to kill me, so let's try to get out of here before that gets worse for us. Well, this is different. We're certainly not starting off with, a uh, typing. Okay, everything's destroyed. <laughs> Goodbye, universe. What have I done? That's uh, sure. It's okay. It's okay, guys. I'm just coming down from my high. We're we're fine. This is just all the drugs, right? Can I just line them up again? Am I supposed to try to draw a symbol? Or do I just press forward? Patriotic references. There's some of that text we saw floating through a universe earlier that seemed to be almost a glitch at the time. Everything's just floaty. Is this the final chapter already? Only chapter- only four chapters. That would mean we only had two alternate realities from the starting one. We're getting police sounds. Am I going to the hospital right now? Is that what we're, what we're doing? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Talking about dispatch. Seems like I might be getting in an- like I might be in an ambulance on the way to hospital because I overdosed on that drug they mentioned in the first chapter. Which is what I was kind of suspecting the whole time. Where are we, Elvin? It's not very hospitable here. All around us, nothing but ruins and entropy. Yet I did warn you, Elvin. One should not meddle with multiple universes. They are just specifically referencing the idea that we're- he said hospitable. Which seems like the obvious reference to the hospital thing. Oh. I live in San Rafael, California, and they're sitting first response vehicle. He's an actual cardboard cutout. We've seen them all game, and they've all been 2D the whole time, but this one is actually not rotating towards me. He just stays like this, apparently. It's kind of markings on the back, like Velcro. He's not here to talk. Here we go. Yep, we're doomed. Oh! That was a bit of a moment. Can I press forward? It's a beautiful game. If it's over already though, I don't know if I'd recommend it. You wander around like three environments and click on a few things. And that's about it. Chaos. Chaos. I have seen worlds beyond your understanding, Elvin, but never such chaos. Alright, and the apparently the, the dialogue's bugged, which has happened a few times already. But even even though it's a little short and maybe not a game I'd recommend, I'm glad we could have this little adventure together. <laughs> it's, it's a fun little thing to share at least. Uh, the dialogue's definitely bugged, so he was talking about entropy and talking about everything falling apart because there's no rules or physics or how anything works here. This is almost... I'm pretty sure we're overdosing. Alright, hello cardboard stand up. Goodbye. I am elevator man now. Oh, there's no elevator shaft. I did not realize how old we are. We are a 53-year-old. I guess for an established author of some kind, that's not too shocking. Just not what I associate with drug as use, I guess. As tongue-tied as ever, my dear Elvin. <laughs> the world is collapsing before your very eyes, yet you continue to juggle with the secrets of creation. Open! There's something concerning about how we're just ripping things open like this. Hello. That pyramid shaped thing back there, WP. It is just a bunch of different buildings kind of overlapping each other, isn't it? I kind of wonder if this is my brain dying. We're wandering around, and it's, uh, there's a bunch of concepts overlapping each other and being confused with each other and infringing upon each other. And my only way of proceeding is just deleting things, basically. Making me wonder if we're just straight up 
like ripping chunks of my cogni my cognition out. And I don't think it ends well for us. I think it just ends. Oh. Yeah, Why but. do you persist? Perhaps you believe in a superior being, Elvin. According to you, the eight spirits of Hermopolis will arise from the icy waters of this shapeless and abstract world. There's our number eight again. Wait, wait. I thought I was playing as Elvin Green, but he just talked about Philip K. Dick. Are we playing the death of Philip K. Dick? I don't know what happened to him ultimately. Did he die in 1982? That's a real author, isn't it? Like a pretty big deal of one? I feel my forces waning. Elvin, could you please halt this frenzied pursuit? You continue to wander through this labyrinth as if everything were normal. Take the time to think about what you're doing. You think you're the creator of the world, but you're merely a puppet. Yes, merely a puppet to my own cognition. Everything's so distorted right now. It is very difficult to hear the voice over the music. Goodbye, physical space. Fare thee well. Hello? That's the Abe... Yeah, that's Abe again. That's the museum shattering apart. The fact that he's 3D throws me off because I keep thinking he's going to be... This world is collapsing. It's not good for either one of us. Let me make a suggestion. We end the experiment, I make my report, and you go back to the peaceful life you once had. What do you say, Elvin? Yeah, this doesn't end well, does it? Does the elevator work? No, oh, Elvin! You are nothing but an ungrateful wretch! Without me, you would still be that pathetic homunculus caught in the trap of existence. You're going to feel very lonely. I was beginning to like you, Elvin. His spite feels so unearned. I'm only doing what he let me do. Novels all around. Seems to be a bit of a dead end. Happy February 12th! Might have to do some research about Philip K. Dick to find out if the February 12th date has a very specific importance for him. Siri, when did Philip K. Dick die? Philip K. Dick died March 2nd, 1982 at age 53. Philip Kindred Dick was an American writer whose published works mainly belonged to the genre of science fiction. Dick explored philosophical, sociological, and political themes in novels and plots dominated by monopolistic corporations, authoritarian governments, and altered states of consciousness. In his later works, Dick's thematic focus tended to reflect his personal interest in metaphysics, and theology. That little that little voiceover gave everything away about the hospital. So my name's not even like the Elven Green unless I'm some sort of invented character. Am I a character invented by Philip K. Dick, navigating through the dying mind of Philip K. Dick? I'm losing access to your neural substrate. Elvin, do something! I haven't finished transmitting my reports! I think he's gone now. We're back at the museum. Wait, am I missing something? The elevator, right. Up we go. We kind of revisited every elevator in the game just now, didn't we? Hmm, all this is most stimulating, my friend. I'm not your Virgil, and you are certainly not Dante. Now he's just looping backwards. Oh, there's a piece. Oh. How in the world? Am I supposed to look up here from down there? 
Don't know how much I can get around around here. Alright, let's go back down. Yeah, the voice in my head is breaking. Alright, now I know, now I know to look up the at the elevator, at least. There we go. Closer. There we go. Open! First, oh. Now that the debris cleared, do I just descend- do I just ascend forever into heaven? No? We're not stop- we're not stopping there. I was ready for a Willy Wonka elevator for reasons that I won't divulge. The Mars, like a Roman emperor, we are the hollow man. We are the stuffed men. What poet shall write the Odyssey of Elvin, set in the multiple dimensions of time? Will you ever find harmony with the world, Elvin? Don't know if there's much more time to worry about harmony. Oh, we're revisiting the weird staircase I saw earlier when I was no clip when I was kind of clipping through the environment. One, two, three, your loss crushes me. Four, five, six, where are you, Alice? That's, that's still a slanted rhyme, at the very least, right? <laughs> it's okay, you're dying. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Things rotating. Oh, there we go. That's not a good sign. I look around. Everything's black out here. There's a distant screen. Or something else. Is that my writing table? Oh, the keyboard returns. We got a typewriter. Oh no. Was that his last thought? And we're back. Just like that. In every dream, someone was at the door. Is she gonna be here now? After all the obsession? Were we dreaming about Philip K. Dick, but we're actually, we actually really are Elvin Green? Door does not open. Um, whoops. I thought she would just be here. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe things aren't okay. That floor with all the red lines... That'd be very distracting. Oh, game's over, and the credits are freaking out right now. <laughs> Alright, um... Creative little story... It's, it's pretty much entirely like a metaphorical, vague, allegorical kind of like, eh, story of like, you kind of have to try to figure out exactly what the hell is trying to be told to you. As we saw very... Many evidence, a piece of evidence of, despite being so short, it doesn't seem very well made. Because there's a lot of dialogue issues where the credit, the, uh... Ah, this is really distracting, it's messing with my ability to say words. The, uh, The subtitles would often not match what was being said on, in, the in the game. 
either the words would be different or they just would not the timing would be off massively and sometimes the voice acting just didn't trigger properly i managed to break the game at one point just despite it being so short it only really has three environments if eh, i'll give them credit for the fourth one too it has four environments it's like it's a game about hopping realities but you only get to see two alternate realities which seems a little iffy maybe it would have been repetitive after that point but they i feel like they could have come up with more they did a decent job at coming up with kind of backstories and progressions of narrative for those little those little worlds, which was kind of nice. But uh, yeah, not much gameplay. And by the th by the uh, by the third location, it kind of got tedious trying to find the spots because there was so many of them, and a few of them were just uh, just iffy enough to make it kind of a pain in the ass to proceed. But that was Californium, and these are really messed up credits. Oh well, they tried, right? That's... I, I honestly can't even tell for sure. Is this supposed to look like this? The way that other images are showing up almost make me think this is supposed to look like this. But that it looks so bad, I'd like to think that it's not supposed to look like this, because if they did this on purpose, I question their logic a little bit. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you next time. And if you want to see something a little similar, maybe look at my uh, playthrough of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I think that was a similar, like, uh, walk around and get a loose story that you p p piece together over time, but uh, I think it had a bit more to give us than this one did. Which isn't crazy, because uh, I think the non-English versions of this, this one are actually free. I think you can play this game for free in German or French, but the English version costs money or something like that. At least I think I saw some hint of controversy about that. But anyway guys, I will see you next time.